Hello children. In the last video, do you remember seeing this picture? What is this? A number. And which number is this? It is number 5. So children, in the last video, when I taught you how to recognize number 5, I promise you that I would teach you how to write number 5. So here I am to teach you how to write number 5. So children, for writing number 5, we make use of standing line, sleeping line and forward curve. Alright? We use one standing line, one sleeping line and one forward curve to form number 5. See? Standing line. Right? A forward curve. And sleeping line. Number 5. So once again, standing line, forward curve and a sleeping line. This is number 5. Now let us see the value. One, one ball, two balls, three ball, four balls, and five. All right, children. One, two, three, four, and five. And how do we write number five? A standing line, a forward curve and a sleeping line on top. This is number 5. Now, after learning number 5, we will practice it in your notebook. Standing line, forward curve and sleeping line. Write it in alternate squares. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Alright? Write it in alternate squares. Write number 5. When you are writing, always say aloud. What will you say? Standing line, bumpity, sleeping line on top is number 5. And children remember, first you will always write a Standing line. See? You will always write a standing line first. Standing line, forward curve and then sleeping line. If you write sleeping line, slanting line, forward curve, children, that will look as letter S. We don't want a mistake. We don't want it to look like letter S. So, we will remain first standing line, forward curve and then sleeping line. So that we have nice lovely points here. Alright? And a 5 with 2 lovely points is the best number 5. Alright? Don't leave any curves. Keep practicing. Bye.